to say What's impossible will they forget This world keeps spinning and with each new I can feel it everything And there's a surface break reflection thing But in some ways they And there's my mind be spread its wings Everybody good? Is everybody doing okay? Got yeah, a bad view so far? Yep. All right, cool. Um, Dean and Leanne, what part of the island are you guys staying at? Kapalua. Uh, Kapalua. Yeah, we're through the montage. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to go past Kapalua as we head to Molokai. You can see a little bit of Molokai right there already. We're going to go in the West Maui first, and then we'll go come down the West Maui and come out over by, by Kapalua. All right, Jake, where are you staying at? Uh, Kihei, Sugar Beach. Alright, Kihei, Sugar Beach, awesome. And then uh, Ivan and Alexi? Uh, Lahaina. Lahaina? Yeah, Lahaina. So you're on the west side. You guys are kind of on the northwest side. And then uh, Jake's down on the south side of Kihei. Uh, so what we're looking at here, guys, in front of us, this is the north side of the island as well. Alright, uh, has anybody done any exploring over here on this side of the island? So, uh, there is a road. You can kind of see it down here, right? See it right there, Highway 34. Highway 34 will go around this whole side of the island, all right? And it dumps into Kapalua. So when you guys come out of the, out of the ridge right there, if you were to go left instead of right, you would come down to Highway 34 around this way. Uh, you can come around the entire island. It's going to take you twice as long, though. Right. It would take you guys a little over an hour, probably. Yeah. It's going to take you at least two hours to come this way. Ah. Okay. You can see, kind of see the road, the reason why. See it right down here? Yeah. It's got a lot of turns in this area. Yeah. Over here to the right of us, the road goes down to one lane for a few sections, and then it goes back to two lanes as it goes around over by Kapalua. So, we're going to start by coming on shore right here in the West Maui Mountains. This is an extinct volcano. We're going to fly inside this volcano. It's one of two volcanoes that created the whole island, all right? 
Does anyone know the name of the big island, the island, or the big volcano on the left over here? And that's Hale Hale Haleakala. Yeah, that's Haleakala. Yeah. That's the Dormant Volcano, right? So, Dormant Volcano on the east side, extinct volcano on the west side. These two volcanoes claim the whole island. Look down here to the right. There's a trail. You guys see that trail going up the ridge line? You guys see it right here? Yep. yep. That's the Waihee Ridge Line Trail, guys. That's a really cool hike. Look at all the people that are hiking on that thing. That's it. That's the trail they got to fucking... Yeah, so it stops up here at the top. That's where it stops up there. 2.2 mile hike. When we come out of this valley, we're going to come through this area. So you can kind of see the viewing platform up on top up there. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there'd be a bunch of people standing on that top of that thing. So that's a pretty fun hike, guys. Um, 2.2 miles, but all 2.2 miles of that is all up here on the way there. Uh, over 2,000 feet of elevation change as you go up to that thing. So it's uh, on the way it's up. Good haul. It's a good haul, absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely a good workout. All right, so that's the only trail in the area, though, uh, in this particular mountain range area, is that one Waihei Ridge Line Trail. We're going to continue up the Waihei Valley uh, into the back of the volcano. There's a nice set of waterfalls along the back hole. They call the Wall of Tears. Oh. Now, this is the only way to get up in here. Pretty neat in here. This is one of my favorite places to show, guys, is going. We're going to go all the way to the back of the volcano. Now, sometimes on some of the flights, uh, I won't be able to get in here because these clouds, like on my last flight, there wasn't a cloud in the sky over here. Uh -huh. And now look at how much it's built up just within the last hour. This is much. And so, so it's going to continue to fill the valley up and it'll come all the way to the ground and then it will, will it'll, it'll keep us out of the valley. We'll have to skip this area on the next flight. Yeah. But look, there's some of those waterfalls I was telling you about that we're going to go see. Now, the summit of this volcano is called the Pu'u Kukui Summit, and it's, uh, it's right up here in the, uh, in the, in the clouds. Uh, 6,000 feet tall is the tallest point of the West Maui. Does it get windy right through here? You know what? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, during certain days when we have the good trade winds that are blowing, it can get really, really turbulent in here. It gets a lot of updrafts and downdrafts in this particular valley. Uh, but today, guys, you guys have some awesome weather. Uh -huh. the, the wind is awesome. It's been good for the last week and a half on the island. But look at this. Now, look closely at these waterfalls. They're seeping out of the side of the crater wall. Right? They're not coming from the top. This area right here, upwards of 400 inches of rain a year in this particular valley. So what happens is that rain, it, uh, it just gets absorbed by the volcanic rock because it's very porous, right? Lots of, lots of holes in it. And then it just starts making its way out through the nooks and crannies in the side of the crater wall in the form of these waterfalls. I have not, in the last, I've lived in Maui for two, little over two years. I've never seen these waterfalls dry out one time. Over the, no matter how long it goes without raining. Um, and it's been, you know, a quite a, it's been at least a, a week since we had rain in this valley. So there's no official hype, but is it? In general, possible to reach it on foot? No, you cannot. No, it's impossible to reach it on foot. As you come up the valley, you have to climb up, ascend multiple, multiple cliff lines to get up in here. Oh. Oh. Look at that. You can see straight up the wall. See all the way up there? <laughs> Pretty amazing, huh? I'm going to come back around again, Ivan and Alexi, for you. Thank oh. you. Oh, it's awesome, huh? I mean, if you look really closely, that's a lot of water that's coming out of there, isn't it? It's yeah. a ton of water. And this will just eventually flow right back down to the ocean. Gotcha. Ah. Ah. Alright, pretty cool spot in here, guys. One of my favorite places to show is the back of this valley. Alright, so we're going to come back out of here, start making our way over to the uh, to the west side a little bit. Okay. How's everybody feeling? Doing okay so far? Okay. Good, right? Pretty cool. Yep. Alright, guys, let's talk a little bit about the island of Maui. Uh, we've already talked about that it was created by two volcanoes, right? Uh, this one being extinct, Haleakala being dormant. Now, the top of Haleakala, has anyone been to the top of that, up to the park up there? Nope. Uh, 10,000 feet above sea level. That's the highest point on the island. Um, it will see snow up there in the winter, in the wintertime. You'll see snow up there. Uh, it doesn't stick. As soon as the sun comes up, it'll, it'll, it'll melt it away. But we do see snow on top of Haleakala quite often. Uh, the island itself, guys, is 40 miles long from end to end, about 25 miles wide. 729 square miles is how big the island is all the way around. 
Um, it is the second largest Hawaiian island. About 145,000 people live on Maui. Anybody know how many visitors visit every 30 days? No idea. Uh, almost 200,000. Uh, every 30 days. Every 30 days, between 175 and 200,000 visitors come to Maui on vacation. So at the, those numbers at the end of the year, 2.4 to 2.6 million, depending on what kind of year we have for tourism. And every year since I've been here, I've only been here for two years, but the last two years I've been here, it's been getting busier and busier every year. Yeah. And the residents, there's 140,000, 140, 140, yeah. Okay, so that trail goes up the ridgeline right here, remember? And it stops right up here. So we're going to get a little close to it. You'll see a bunch of people standing right up on top of this thing. Look at them all up there. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably way better. Oh, they're eating. Get a ride! There you go. <laughs> but that's a cool hike, guys. Definitely a cool hike. All right, you can see the island of Molokai out in front of us. Molokai is the fifth largest Hawaiian island. There's only 7,000 people that live on that island. What a big difference, huh? Yeah. Now, the island that's got the most residents is Oahu. That's where Honolulu is, okay? That's where, where the capital of Hawaii. Uh, but what's weird about it is that the island of Oahu is only a little over 500 square miles. It's 200 square miles smaller than the island of Maui. But they have 10 times more residents that live there. They have 1.3 million people that live on the island. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, two out 145,000 uh, on an island that's, that's 200 square miles smaller. It's crazy over there. All the high rises. Um, that's uh, you know, the, the military bases are there. That brings in a lot of people as well. All right, so we're going to come down the Honokahau Valley right here. We're going to head start heading toward the shoreline. There's Kapalua. There's the Ritz Carlton uh, right there. Yeah, okay. Now, if I really wanted to try hard, guys, I could fly from the airport to your guys' resort in about seven minutes. Yeah, yeah without going and seeing just coming straight over to there. Um, it's amazing how fast you can get around this island in a helicopter, but how long it takes you to do it as far as driving is concerned. Is there a residence down there? So there's a couple of houses. There's more people that live down toward the bottom of the valley. There will be some houses that are up and down the valley. This is the Honokaha Valley. Uh, but uh, this valley, you'll hear a lot of times on the news, people's houses getting flooded down here. Uh, when, it, when it rains heavy up in the West Maui, this whole, this whole, this whole uh, stream down here will, will, will swell and it'll flood. And you'll hear about people's houses being flooded all the time. But they still stay down here. They don't, they don't move. Yeah, it's weird. All right, so we make a radio call and we'll talk a little bit about Kapalua before we head to Molokai. There's a war just breached right there. Okay, so. Uh, Kapalua down here, guys, to the left, there are only two resorts in Kapalua. You have the Ritz and you have the Montage. What makes Kapalua so famous is its golf courses, right? You see this golf course right here to the left, guys? This is the plantation course. The PGA just had a tournament here last week. The Tournament of Champions started their season off. Uh, this week they had it over in Honolulu. The Sony Open just finished yesterday. Um, but they televised this on TV. Now, the guy who won yesterday in Honolulu took home a $1.1 million check. So, not, not a bad day for uh, uh, you know, a couple of days of golfing, that's for sure. There's that Highway 30, 34, guys. Oh, yeah. See how it through this area? Oh. It's a really, really beautiful drive. But if I were you, you guys could just leave and just kind of come over here and explore a little bit and then go back this way. I wouldn't, yeah. go, I wouldn't yeah. recommend going all the way around. Where is the blowhole? The blowhole is around the corner over there. You can guys can go see the blowhole. We won't see the blowhole on the flight uh -huh. because it's over there on the east side or on the north side. Never will be there. Yeah, but if you drive, you're going to drive up this road right around the corner. From the ridge, you're looking at about a 20-minute drive to the Nakalele blowhole, which is a huge water geyser that shoots water in the air when a wave oh. comes in and, and, hits the, and hits the shoreline. Yeah, it, it looks awesome. Yeah, it is really cool. Uh -huh. Alright, so, we've got some pretty beaches down here, guys. So, there's Ironwood Beach, the one on the right. There's Fleming Beach. And there's another beach right here. It's got a horrible name to it. It's called the Slaughterhouse Beach. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, where the golf course is, there used to be a cattle ranch. There used to be a slaughterhouse uh -huh. over here. The name is just stuck with the beach for some reason. It's a really cool beach, so Rich Carlton, Montage. And then you have Honolulu Bay, which is right here. See all the cars up here on the dirt road? 
Okay. These, these are all filters that are out here waiting for this, wait, wait for the shell to come in, wait for this. Yesterday this was packed full of cars. There was a nice wave that was coming in all day yesterday. You can see a few people that are down here in the water right now. I think it's also a popular spot for sunset. Yeah, sunset as well, and also it's a popular spot for snorkeling. Uh, people will snorkel in this in, in that little bay right there. Oh, that's pretty. Big surf competition here last year. Lots of surfers. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, totally. It's a pretty decent, it's a pretty decent wave down there today. It's not bad, look at that. So they'll have a lot of the surfing competitions down here as well, guys. I'm going to do a turn on the left, and then we'll head to Molokai. But you can see right into the water, you see the reef down there? All right. There you guys go. Oh, that's pretty. That's not bad, huh? Really pretty area of the island. Lots of surfers in the water today. Yeah. All right. Let's start making our way over to the island of Molokai. Alrighty guys, so in order for us to get over to the island of Molokai, we got to cross the channel right here, right? Eight mile crossing from Maui to Molokai. The name of the channel is called the Pailolo Channel. And the Pailolo Channel is about seven to eight hundred feet deep in the middle of the channel between the two islands. Now normally when we have those trade winds that are pretty, you know, those are, those are, those are, that's what dominates the islands is the northerly trade winds, okay? When I cross the channel out here, it's normally super choppy. Huh? All white caps, really, really gusty trade winds, really strong ocean currents are out here as well. Uh, you can see that they're, 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 they're just starting to get a little bit choppy right now. Um, but 90% of the time over the course of the year, it's always solid white caps and really windy out here. You guys have been getting some really good weather since on your guys' visit, that's for sure. Now, we want to keep an eye out for humpback whales. I don't normally see them in this channel that often, only because it's always usually pretty rough. You guys can see, if you really look really close, if you were down there in the water, those are some pretty good sized ocean swells that are just kind of flowing through there. We're a thousand feet above the ocean right now. Um, I do most of my whale watching over by Lahaina. When we get over there, the water's going to be glassy smooth. Ah. Yeah, so, so that side of the island is protected from the wind by the mountain range. So the wind kind of goes around the island, but it goes flipping through this channel. If we see something out here that's uh, a big beach or something, we'll do a turn around it. Uh, but we'll plan to do our whale watching when we come back to Molokai. Now, talk a little bit about the, the, the humpback whales. The season starts in December and it goes all the way to April, all right? Humpback whales migrate down here from Alaska. So they're, they're up, they, they all come from up, up north. I would too. Yeah, there you go, exactly. Uh, and it's a 2,500 mile swim. Who does measure swim for 2,500 miles in that time? Uh, biologists believe it takes them three months to make the journey. All right, so leave, they start leaving in probably uh, August and September, and they start showing up in December. Now, the reason why they come to Hawaii is they give birth here. This is their building spot, is in the Hawaiian Islands, because the water is warm and they like that. There are also no predators for the humpback whales in the Hawaiian Island area. That's another reason why they come here. Do you guys know what a predator for a humpback whale is? Orca. Yeah. Orca. Yeah, it's an orca. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's Shamu. It's a, it's a killer whale, right? The blue, the black and white ones. Now, those black and those orcas, they can only, they can only go after the, the, the babies, the calves, all right? They, they don't do any damage for the big hump, the huge ones, because the big humpback whales, the adults are 40 to 60 feet long. They're enormous. They weigh 40 tons. Uh, so it's, they're incredibly big. Uh, but they do go after the, the, the baby calves when they're born, and that's why they come here. I have, in the last two years that I've been flying here, I've never seen an orca in, in Hawaii. Not saying that they don't come through here from time to time, but I think they prefer the colder waters up north. Yeah. You guys know how many whales will come to Hawaii during the five months? Seven to ten thousand. Seven to ten thousand humpback whales are, 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 most of them, a lot of them are here already, but a lot of them are still showing up. Oh. Okay, so, before we go up onto the island of Molokai, we're going to take a look at the two rocks in the water, okay? This rock formation is called Elephant Rock. 
that big one is going to start to resemble a big elephant that's laying down in the water on its side, facing away from us with his trunk going oh, yeah, yeah, up yeah. in the water. Now we're going to come all the way around and do a couple turns by it, but uh, Ivan and Alexi, you should start to see it. Yeah, there you do. Yeah, you do, huh? Uh, and there you do. Like an elephant. Yeah. We're looking at his butt right there, right? He's right? talking. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So you can see his long trunk, his head's kind of turned, it's pretty cool. We'll come back around, we'll put it on the right side as well. I think the best view of him is right about, right about there, what do you think? See his big floppy ears? <laughs> what do you yeah. think? That that I think it's that right there. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's natural rock formation called elephant rock. Alrighty. Let me talk a little bit about Maui. Talked about the population on Maui. Um, talked about how many people visit the island. Now we'll talk a little bit about Molokai. Uh, Molokai is the fifth largest Hawaiian island, only 7,000 residents live here. There are no resorts on this island, guys. Uh, not one. And you guys know why? So are they protected? Well, it's not privately owned. It's still part of Maui County. Oh, uh, there's no water. Uh, no, there's no water. It's, it's because the people of the island of Molokai have bought up everything. Oh. Yeah, there's no available land that you could possibly build a resort on. Because they take up a good piece of property, right? Because the people of the island didn't want any resorts here, so they bought up all the existing land so they couldn't actually ever build over here. Uh, you, yeah. Uh, well, here's the thing. There is one locally owned hotel called Hotel Molokai, about the size of a Motel 6, oh. <laughs> and there's one rental car company on the island. The island does have a lot of Airbnbs, VRBOs, vacation rental condos, uh, and beach houses that you could come over here and rent. How do you get here? Uh, how would you get? What's that? How would you get? You got to fly here. There's an airport on the island. Oh, yep, there's an airport on there. Over, over by the town of Kanakatai, on the uh, the basically the central part of the island. We're on the southeast side right now, heading to the to the northeast side. Uh, this place over here to the right of the sky is called the Murphy's Ranch. You see this? The Murphy's own the entire east side of the island. Wow. They own all this right out here to the right of us. They also own this other peninsula that goes out as well. Thousands of acres of land. It's a cattle ranch and it's also a farm. One of many cattle ranches that are on the island of Molokai, along with some farms. Alright, so Halaba oh, Valley, wow. right here in front of us. Halaba Bay down here to the right, perfect spot for a, 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 a resort down there, right? You got a few people that live down here. Up the valley to the left, Halaba Falls. We're going to come in here and do a couple F-turns. Wow. Alrighty, so Halaba Falls is a multi-tiered waterfall. Also, 300 plus inches of rain over here on the side of Molokai as well. I have seen people swimming in this uh, in one of these waterfalls before. You can actually hire someone to bring you up to the base of these waterfalls. It's about a two and a half hour hike, but it does require you to have a guide because you're coming. You have to go through people's private property. So. So I see people swimming in the bottom or the left all the time. You see they, they do the hike up the valley right here. Well, if you live here, you pretty much farm for a living? Uh, no, yeah, I mean, a lot of people that live on the island, since there's only 7,000, think about it, I'm sure everybody knows each other, everyone's, a lot of people are probably related. Uh, land over here has probably been passed down from generation to generation. There's probably a lot of people over here that don't even have mortgages. Yeah. Um, and they just kind of just relax. There's no industry on this island whatsoever other than cattle ranching and farming. Um, and even that's not that big. You know, it's, uh, you know, for 7,000 people, it probably doesn't take a lot to, uh, to bring in. A small portion comes from tourism that people come over here and visit. But the, the people that live on this island, they probably just like to, they want to be away from all the, the rest of the, the, rat, the rat race, probably. 
that 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 the Hawaiian Islands bring in as far as tourism is concerned. I mean, there's not even a traffic light on this island. There's not even a, there's not one stoplight on the island. There's no fast food restaurants on the island. There's no Walmarts or Costco's or anything like that. Everything is locally owned and everything closes by 5 p.m. I think there's one auto parts store, a couple of small grocery stores that are locally owned, but I would, I would probably call them general stores as, as opposed to a grocery store, right? Beautiful. Alrighty, guys. Let's head over to the north shore of Molokai. We're going to come off the top of the tallest sea cliffs in the entire world. Now, over here, this, is, uh, this peninsula is also part of owned by the Murphys, so they own this whole area up here as well. Um, the sea cliffs started about 1,500 feet in front of us, so it's about a 1,500 foot drop off right here to the ocean. As you go to the, to, the, to the northwest side, they'll climb up ridges of almost 4,000 feet tall. So nobody lives over here on the northeast side of the island. There's no permanent residences over here. Probably get checked off when you come over here and tie your helicopter over at the tower. Perhaps, there you go. Yeah, but we try to be pretty, we try to stay away from the houses as much as possible. Uh, oh. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. What do you think, Alan? Oh. Wow. There like a hike here? No hikes. No hikes on this side of the island, guys. The only way to get over here is you have to come over here in a boat, or you have to be in a helicopter, or you have to take a, or, a, a, or an airplane to see this, this North Shore Sea Cliffs. Are there like a helicopter surfers? Um, I don't know. I don't, not that I know of. But they have some really nice waves over here all the time. Alright, we're going to go see this big waterfall right here, guys. This is called Papalau. It's, uh, it's almost 1,700 feet tall. It drops from up there into a valley and it starts cascading to where it comes out at the very bottom. Five hundred meters. That's a big waterfall. That's another one I've never seen drive before. Wow. These must have been here for a really long time. Oh yeah, really long time. Here you go, you guys get one more shot and then we're going to head out of here. I have to be forget about shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are perfect shots of all of that available. <laughs> this experience is going to be much more right. awesome. Yeah. Hard to get some good shots in here. There's a lot of glare, a lot of reflection and glare. Yeah. Look at the black goats that are right down there. Yeah. So cool. I see a lot of mountain goats on the side of the wow. cliff line of all. So wow. let's see if there's anybody over here today. So there's black and white goats, mountain goats that live literally on the side of this cliff line I see all the time. 
<laughs> see if there's anybody hanging out. We gotta bring it in a little bit slower. Most of the time I see him. Uh, most of the time I see him right in that little spot that doesn't look like anyone's standing there right now. There's one sitting on the on the on the edge right there. Can you see that? See him right there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a big, it was a big old goat, big old, big old goat, big old set of set of rams, oh. set of horns on them. Just sitting out on the on the point down there. Let's see if we can come back around. And there's a whole bunch of them moving right there in front of us. Look over there to the right. There's a black and white one right there. Right oh there. yeah. Oh yeah. You see him? Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah. Just lots of goats live on. Once you, once you know what you're looking for, you, yeah. you're yeah. starting to be there. Yeah, yeah. There's some more coming up down here on the right. So look down here on the right. See down here? Yeah. Right there. There's a couple just hanging out right there. Right there. See him, Jake? Yeah. Look at that, huh? Crazy. They're literally everywhere on the side of this yeah. trip line. They love hiking. Yeah, they love hiking. What they taste more like Mufong. They basically they have unli unli unlimited amounts of food. They have fresh water. Everything that they need. They're right up there, see them? No predators. No predators, yeah, no predators, guys. What a place to live, huh? Yeah. This is Tahuba Falls right here to the left of us. It's one of the tallest waterfalls in all of Hawaii. 2,500 feet tall, but uh, sometimes it will get dried up. If, uh, if this one over here kind of is flowing right now, you see this one, 2,500 feet tall. I don't see any boats. But then, yeah, you're not going to see very, very few people ever come over here, guys. Why? It's, 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 pretty, it's usually pretty rough to come over here. Like I said, it's not always this uh, nice out here in the ocean. This is the North Shore, so this is where we're going to get a lot of that wind as well. A lot of times it's the white caps out here all the time. Alright, this side of the island, though, guys, is where, has anyone heard stories of the leprosy colony? There used to be a leprosy colony over here, back in the year 1866, on that peninsula out there, you see it? Oh, oh yeah, Jack London. Yeah, uh, so that's the, the Kalao Papa Peninsula, and from 1866 to 1969, 9,000 Hawaiians were forced to live on that peninsula out there in a leprosy colony, because they had contracted leprosy. Yeah. And they chose that area, because the only way to get to it a long time ago was by boat. Oh. It was complete, the sea cliffs cut it off from the rest of the uh, island, so it made a perfect isolation colony. Pretty cool over here though, huh? Yeah. But you guys look really, really, really close. Now, look as far as you can. You see that one cloud that's way, way, way out there? You can see the outline of the, of the island of Oahu. Oh, yeah. See it way out there? Way, way out there. Yeah. Yep, that's where yeah. you can see Oahu today. So I don't normally get to see Oahu very often. Just when it's clear enough that you can see the mountain range of, of Oahu out there. Being north? What's that? North? Yeah, uh, so north is this way, so you're looking at, so that's, so that's going to be west. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot of Oahu today, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so we're going to come on shore here, guys, and we're going to go up into this, uh, into this volcano. Also, a stink volcano to see you know, the island of Molokai. How's everybody feeling? Okay. Yes. Great. All right, so we're going to climb up and uh, we're going to take a look, see if we can get over the over the back of this crater wall. If we can't get over here, then we'll go down here a little further and go and go over. But we're going to start making our way to the south side of the island. Um, that's where the coral reef is at, along the, up and down the south shore, and that's where about 80 percent of the population lives. They live up and down the south shore. Nobody lives out on that. So yeah, there's still a few people that live out there now. Yeah, the leprosy colony was closed in 1969 because uh, they had come up with medication for leprosy. Leprosy nowadays is known as Hansen's disease. So it's still no cure for it, but it, it, they take medication and, uh, 
and that uh, it's very treated very really well with that. But there's still some of the ancestors, and there's still people out there that have leprosy uh, that live out there, but they have medication for it. So yeah, but the official colony is closed. There's an airport out there you can fly into that peninsula and go visit the leprosy colony. It's a national park now that you can go visit, yeah. And walk through the village and see where the lepers used to live. That's where Father Damien went out there and lived with the lepers. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Father Damien. He's a Belgian priest that came over here and, and lived with those lepers for 20 years, taking care of them. And so he contracted leprosy and he passed away. I gotta get home, there's a garden, and all the fruits on the ground. Oh, look at this, we're going to go right over the back of this volcano right here, and then start to see there's the island of Lanai right in front of us, and we're going to descend down, look at how thick this canopy is there, those are, all, those are tall, tall trees down there guys, those are really tall trees, solid canopy, look at, you can see there's the town of Kanakakai, down there to the right of it, that's okay, that's right. That's where that's the biggest city in the in, in the Molokai is the town of Kanakakai. That's where the harbor is. You see the pier that comes off? That's where the harbor is. And then that uh, the all these people are just spread out up and down the south shore. But look at the difference. Look at all rainforest and we're gonna start coming down and look at how dry this side gets. It's just the, the rain just kinda goes away once you get to the south side of the island. Alright, so we saw a little bit of Oahu. There's your night. There's Maui to the left, we're on Molokai, there's another island right there, there's the island of Koho'olabe, there's the smallest of the eight, so just right there, five Hawaiian islands. Now sometimes when it's really clear out, if you look out straight out that way, I could see, uh, you could see the, the big island as well, you could see the volcanoes on the big island way out there. Look at the reef. So we're going to come offshore, and we're going to do some turns over the reef for you. So different. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's very, uh, very desert-like over here now. Where is the shipwreck? What's that? Shipwreck. Shipwreck? Shipwreck Beach is on Lanai. It's over there. You can oh, see it. I can see that. There's, a, there's the, that big World War II ship that's uh, washed up on the shore there for Lanai. That, uh, that ship is like six or seven hundred feet long. So there's one road that connects the island together. See it down here? Absolutely gorgeous. There's a rare, look at where this blue shot out there, see it? So I came out and jumped out of the water and messed up the boat. This looks like a rare breach to me, but... How pretty this is. Wow. Now the reef is about three to five feet below the surface of the water, depending on if it's high or low tide. Right now we're at mid-tide, on the way back down from high tide from earlier. It's all covered though. It's all covered with how, how cool the water is. Now, no companies from Maui offer tours over here. They don't want to come across the channel. Ah. So, uh, other than that one fisherman that you see out here on a boat, this is what it looks like all the time. It's completely untouched. I mean, there might be a couple of people, but these guys live on the island. And you can see he's just kind of cruising on top of the reef right there. Can you see manta rays from this helicopter? Yeah, I do see manta rays in this area a lot. So I, I saw a couple of my There's a sea turtle right there, it looks like, maybe. See it straight down there? Yep. One sea turtle. 
Sometimes I see a lot of manatees in this area, but uh, there were a couple of them right over here on the last fight that they've, they've, uh, they've moved on. I'm just like Yellowstone. What's that? This is just like Yellowstone. Pretty cool, huh? How many flights a day do you Yeah, I can do upwards of seven, depending on how busy we are. Pretty cool island though, huh, guys? Did you guys think of more times you guys enjoy it? Yeah, yeah awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful, huh? I know. Once to visit it. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to come over here and visit. Alrighty. Yeah, that guy has fresh fish up every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Fresh, fresh fish every day. Oh. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is we're going to start making our way back over to Maui. Now I did see a shoal of fish over here on my last flight, which looks like it's still here. We'll do a turn around it. So right here on the edge of the reef, there's going to be a dark spot that's under the water, which is actually a whole bunch of fish. What we're going to do, we're going to get the sun behind us. There's a little bit of a dark spot down here. Uh, let me keep coming around, but I think that's that big ball of fish that I saw earlier. See what I'm looking at, Jake? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see them all over there? Oh, there's a lot of fish right there, just congregating. I saw that earlier. Wow. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah, see it's moving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, I'll come back around and put on the other side, but yeah, look at that. Well, if only that fisherman knew, yeah. <laughs> he'd be like, he'd be excited. Look, there's a sea turtle coming up right down here. Let's stay down in the water right down here. See him just oh, yeah, yeah, right yeah. there. See him right there. Right. Yep, he's coming up. He's going to go eat. Uh, there's, a there. there's another sea turtle right there, guys. You see that one? And the big shoal of fish. Oh, right there. See right there? The sea oh, turtle. that's okay. cool. All in one piece. Yeah, there you go. Turtle, whale. The only thing we didn't get to see is manta rays. But I do see manta rays over here a lot. Yeah, there's two turtles there. Now there's one there to the left, and there's another one there, and then there's another one that's really far into the water right here, yeah. yeah. One on the left. Yep. A lot of fish right there. What do you mean, huh? All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Is there, it looks like there's another sea turtle down here to the right. Start looking down to the right. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. See him right there? Yep. Yeah. He's right down here. Oh. So you can see the, the color of that sea turtle, it almost matches perfectly with the color of the reef. I only see them when they're out in these open so ponds right here, yeah. 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 Okay, let's get out of here, guys. Head back to Maui. <laughs> Not bad, huh? But it just kind of slowly drops off. Okay, I was on a different, I was making a radio call. There's a whale right there. Oh, yeah. Two whales right there. Usually a mom and a calf when you see them this close to shore. Well, uh, sometimes the moms and would do other things, but uh, normally whales they travel they travel together. Uh, at least two or three of them. But look, look at those some monster whales right there, guys. Those are big. They were probably thirty plus feet long, thirty to forty oh. feet long. Oh my god. Oh yeah. yeah. There's more. Yeah. More right there. Right there, right there, right there. We'll come back around and see these. Oh, those are big. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Look at that. Oh, hey. There you go. That, that thing's probably 40 tons. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Now, they don't like the helicopters that much either, so they will probably, they, they, they'll start to go deep if they, uh, you know, it's depending. The vibration from the helicopter, they can sense that under, under the water really well. Yeah. See this one right here, looks like a different, the one on the right might be, looks like it. You see a tail come up, he's going to dive deep, just kind of hanging out there. 
Let's go see these other, this other group that's right over here as well. Yeah. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? Uh-uh. Hey. Holy man, that's big. Is that right over here? Is that you? Is that right there as well? Yeah, yeah, there's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch there. There's also some, uh, there's also a couple over here to the left. Yeah. So look, there's a whole, oh, there's a whole oh, bunch yeah, of them right yeah. here. Look at all these. <laughs> so I see one, oh. two, three, four, look at that. So he's going down. too fast. He went down. He's not going to have nothing. He doesn't want nothing to do with us. See a couple of them. One, two, three, four. Four real big whales right wow. there. Look at these. Wow. Oh, great. great. He's going deep. That one just threw his tail up. He's out of here. I think he's going to throw his tail up. I think they're giving me the bird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is, yeah, they were just kind of right down here. But they're all, they're all going deep. Okay. So... Let's, let's, let's start making our way back over to Maui. Uh, when we get over there, you can see what the water is going to do. Um, you can see that's all glassy, smooth water right there. See it? Yeah. We'll get out of this rough area. You'll see it even better if we see some on the way back. That's pretty cool, huh? A little bit. All right, so as we head back across the channel, guys, we'll talk a little bit about the island of Lanai. Has anybody visit, went to visit that island? No. Oh, okay. uh, it's a real, real easy island to visit. There is a ferry service that runs from Lahaina to, 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 to Lanai five times a day. It crosses and then it comes back into the channel. It crosses the channel ten times a day. Um, and uh, the island of Lanai uh, used to be uh, owned by James Dole of the Dole Pineapple Food Company. That used to be the largest pineapple plantation in the world over there. Back, uh, this is all the way back in the 1920s through the late 1950s is when Dole uh, produced pineapple on the island. He took his pineapple plantation and took it off the island and moved it to Costa Rica. So he grows a lot of pineapple in Costa Rica now. That's where he got married. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the island of uh, Lanai, guys, is now owned by one guy. You guys know that? It's owned by Larry Ellison. Oh, it's owned. Yeah. There's a massive boat we saw one time when we were here. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sometimes we'll show up in his yacht. Most of the time he flies into, to, to, in, his, in his jet to the Kahului Airport. Then he's got a helicopter that comes and picks him up from the heliport right there. So we see him land all the time, picks him up and takes him back. Uh, so he bought the island back in 2012. Uh, uh, he's the founder and CEO of Oracle Software. Yeah. Um, he's worth about $65 billion, maybe more than that. He bought the island for $500 million. Uh, he owns over 95% of it, and the state of Hawaii owns the other 5%. The reason why he bought the island was he didn't want any other resorts built over there other than his own. And he has two of them on the island, and they're both four seasons. So what's, uh, what's the, the best way to eliminate the competition? Yeah. B- buy the whole island, right? So, there are still 3,000 residents that live there, though. See? It's still part of Maui County. The 3,000 residents is, what, is, is the 5% that the state of Hawaii takes care of. They take care of all the infrastructure. There's Lanai City, Lanai Airport, Fire Department, Police Department, School District. Um, all that stuff is all taken care of by the state of Hawaii, but Larry owns all the rest of the island. That's incredible. Terrible, huh? Now, look at this water out here now, guys. Now we're getting into some smooth stuff. Now, we'll keep our eyes on for any kind of humpback whales, but even if we don't see any more, at least we saw some good ones. There's two of them right here to the right. Oh, yeah. They're right here to the right. Oh, yeah. Now, you know, there's, and then look, there's, a, there's some more right here in the front of us. Yeah. A couple more here. Look at these guys. These guys pretty active out here. It's not good you can see them now, huh? Oh. You guys okay with the turns? Yep. Look at this. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that show, guys. That's crazy. There's a nice breach right there. See if it comes up and they, they usually will come up and do it multiple times. The baby. These guys might have just came up and now they might be gone for good. But, uh... That was a nice breach right there, huh? Gonna come back around. Yeah, I don't know if these guys are coming back up again. Everybody okay with the turns that we're doing in the helicopter? Sure. All right, because we're all better. Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's right, stop them. There's some more right there. So we'll go see these guys. 
Hey, but that was a good shot, that boost kick. Yeah, you yeah, got it. Yeah, you didn't miss it. It was a good one. He came up yeah. and he did it. He yeah. did like a complete yeah. turn. It was awesome. All right, so right here. I'm going to put these on your side this first time, okay, guys? Yep. See if they stay up now. If you see his tail come up, that means he's going deep. Looks like one went deep, but I think there was multiple ones right here. Take a look at it real fast. Look at the second one. There's a couple of them, yep. Smaller. Yeah, so both, you saw both of the tails come up. Hi. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. Right over here, we'll go see this one. They're pretty good at spotting out. Yeah, so I see me just coming out here all the time and just say anything, like I said, anything that you see to split the water here, you know it's going to be a well. So, see if this guy comes up and takes another breath. There's two more right over there. There's another one that just came up right over there to the right. See yeah. it? Looks like this guy might be gone. And let's go over here. We've got to get a little aggressive, guys, to get these guys while they're up on the surface, okay? So, right here, there's two more. I watch you, watching the twilight, behind the telephone line, nothing to prove. Okay, so these guys are just kind of underneath the surface right here. I'm going to put it on, the, on this side first, and then I'll come around if they stay up. So right over here. Yeah. we are going to get the sun just right, the, right behind us so you can see them real good. I slowly from away. Oh, that's great right there. That's a great shot right there, guys. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Well, it looks like they're kind of going deep as well. Yeah. Alright. We got some good ones, right? We'll keep making our way back over to Maui. We're all whale watching boats that are coming out. Ah. Yep. I saw a whole bunch of them on my last flight. There's a there's 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 whale right there, yep. So, there's another whale, looks like that's okay, there. There's one right here to the right. There's another one, two more right out here in front of us. You see right out here? They yeah, answer it. There's a, and then oh, yeah. right past it, there's another one. There's two, yeah, two down here to the right. All right, so that's got a baby. It's got a cap. It's got a baby cap up on her nose. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that cap is just born. Just born, guys. Now. Oh, okay. See that? Oh, yeah. So, you see how the cap, cool. you see how the cap is on her nose? Yeah. Yep. That, boy, that baby was just born within the last hour or two. Really? Yep. Uh. That's where the mom will put the baby. As soon as they're born, the baby does not know how to blow, use its blowhole. If the mom does not push the baby to the surface, the, the baby will drown. Oh. So that's what that, that baby was just born. Mom's keeping him up on the surface. Ah. I'll do a turn the other way. So these guys aren't going to go deep because the baby can't go deep right now yet. So we're going to follow them just for a minute or so and then we're out of here. But yeah, isn't that, there you guys go. That, that baby's hours old. Keeping her right up on the surface, right up on her nose. Baby's just probably getting acclimated, trying to figure out how to use its blowhole. See, the other whale that is with it is an escort whale. And it, that the other whale is a male whale, and it's not the it's not the baby's dad. It's just that they just attach themselves to the female whale and then protect the mom and the baby. And that escort whale will probably stay with that mom and baby until they leave in five months from now. Look at that, right up on the nose. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's awesome, right there, guys. You don't get to see that very often. I'm gonna do a turn to the left now, okay? And then and then we have to head back in. Oh, wait, 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 Look at that. That's a great shot right there. Yeah. That's great. Uh, awesome, huh? Yeah. That's... 
было. Мимо было. Понял. Another one right here. Oh yeah. Another one there. They're all over. Look at right there. Right out there. there. Right there. And then they're literally everywhere, guys. What's that over to the right of the whale? There? That's a boat. That's going to be a probably a whale watching boat. Uh -huh. It's kind of out there hanging out watching that whale. Look at there's one right down there, guys. Look down there. Look at back there in the water. See it? Yeah. Another whale watching boat coming out. Alrighty. Well, good. You guys got a really good show. It's awesome, huh? Amazing. We're supposed, we were supposed to be on the ground a minute and a half ago. I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> so, I hope not. When, uh, yeah. when I come out here and I'm doing the whale watching, I have to constantly remind myself to keep looking at my fuel gauge because you can get in and my, and my time that I've been out. I mean, we don't get in trouble for going over on our time, um, but, uh, you know, you can get out here and, and, you know, start following them over to Lanai, and then you're like, holy cow, we got like 29 grams of fuel left. We better head back. <laughs> and we have our jackets, right? Yeah, yeah, we got our jackets, yeah, yeah. But that's nice. The weather is nice. The weather is nice. Yeah, it would be bad, yeah. We'd probably, the whales would probably come and uh, surround us if we land in the race in the day. Oh, we are watching boats, yeah. So whenever you see a cluster of them, that means they're probably on some. Whenever the boats have them, I don't like to go bother them because it's easy for me to find them. It's harder for them to find them. Sure. And a lot of times, you know, the helicopter scares them back underwater. They can stay underwater for 15 to 20 minutes, yeah. A lot of times those, uh, those boats will use us helicopters. They're like, oh, look at them. They're skinning. There's we know there's whales over there. And then they'll come go into that, go into that area. That happens all the time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like they knew there was something going on over there. For the baby. Yeah, yeah it happens all the time, but it's pretty cool. It's what do you guys think? Look at how gorgeous this water is right now. Yeah. All right, so give you a shot. There's Lahaina. Has everyone been to Lahaina? Yeah. yeah, down the front street, right? That is a uh, hotel. There's the ferry heading to Lanai right there. That's, yeah. that's the expedition. That's heading out 45 minutes ferry ride right each way. There laws uh, on how close the boat gets to the whales? What's that? Are there any laws about how yes. close? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm supposed to stay a thousand feet above them. Helicopters, you're supposed to stay at least a hundred feet away from them as a boat. You're not supposed to approach them. And if you do follow them, you're supposed to follow them from behind. You're not supposed to come out at them head on or, or block them in. You're not supposed to get in between a mom and a calf. Uh, you're supposed to turn your engine off as well if you get within 100 feet of them, yeah. There's behind the guys. Very, very cool. Gonna be a little cool. There's a nice shot of Tonopoli Beach right there. This better on the bridge, on the store. Letter L. Yeah, do you mean Lahaina? Yeah, yeah, well, that stands for the Lahaina Lunas. And what he's talking about, and let's go around this way, let's, let's show you. So the Lahaina Lunas is the name of the high school that's over here on this side of the island, okay? So there's a big L that's up on the side of the mountain up there, you see it? That L. That was uh, made by the high school. And it, it, uh, in the bottom right-hand portion of the L, uh, there's a number that says 18, which is for the graduating class of 2018. Oh. Uh, you can't see it from here, but you can just see the outline of the yard. But if you were right next to it, uh, you'd be able to see it. Actually, let's just go look at it. How about that? Yeah. So, okay, with that right? Yeah. All right. Now, has, uh, who went to Lahaina? Almost everybody? Yep, they're staying there. Yeah. Okay, did you guys go see the banyan tree? No, yep. not yet. Do you yep. saw the banyan tree, yeah. Yeah, Okay. Banyan tree, the largest tree. and oldest banyan tree in the United States, the fourth largest banyan tree in the world. It was a tree that was planted back in the 1800s. It's grown so big it covers a whole city block and it's right down here you can see it. Now, you see the building that has the orange roof on it in front of the harbor? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. the courthouse. You see the tree that's touching the back of that? That's one tree. Oh, that's, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the banyan tree right there. That's, oh, one, that's one tree. Okay. You see it down there, Dean? Yes, sir. That's the banyan tree. Largest banyan tree in the United States. There you go. That's the old courthouse that it's touching right there. 
They got that cool old prison there. Too. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yep, that's the old, the old prison. That's where the old, uh, the old fort used to be as well. Yeah. Alrighty. What is our altitude right now? What's that? Altitude right now. Uh, altitude? Yes. 1,500 feet. Uh-huh. These two exits are our hotel. Okay, right down here. The two exits are okay. Yeah. Oh, found the... Yeah. Alrighty, so we're going to head up here a little bit. We're going to see this, uh, the big L, they call it. So the Lahaina School District is up here in the mountain. So you see there's the football field right there. You see it? So all of this, everything above all, see that the neighborhood is right here? Everything above the neighborhood, all the big red, the red roof buildings and everything all the way to the top is all part of the school district. Uh, they do kindergarten to 12th, 12th grade all up here. Uh, one of many, uh, you know, school districts on the island of, of Hawaii, of, of Maui. So as we go up this way, there's a new solar farm that was just built last year. Yeah. If you look on the end zone, look at it, it's, it's spelled L-U-N-A-S, you see it? L-U-N-A-S on the end zone? That Lunas. That's what that uh, stands for, Lunas. Yeah, as we get closer, see up here? Oh yeah, there it is. There's the number 18 in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then you see the hash marks that are on the upper part of the L? Uh-huh. Those are all state championships that the high school has won yeah. in different sports. That changed the number every year in the ceremony where they tell a lot of the kids will come up here and change that. That's a rate, you can tell my rate, tell my rate. Oh yeah, there's a trail. Yeah, there's a trail that goes up there. Yeah, they drive up here most of the way, then they have to hike it up the rest of the way. Huh. Alright, there's another island right there, the island of Tohoho Lobby. Is there a fire? Smallest area. Yeah, they have fires up here quite often, actually. They have fires that are up here. Um, that's the smallest of the eight Hawaiian islands right there. Nobody lives on that island. That island used to be used by the military as a bombing range back in World War II for target practice. Uh, now the, uh, the island is, has all been cleaned up. They cleaned it up back in the early 1990s. They gave the island back to the state of Hawaii in 1994. Um, state of Hawaii cut the island off limits and closed, so still nobody lives on the island. There's the Molokini Crater, the little one right there directly in front of us right there, guys, yeah. That's that spot where a lot of people go snorkeling at, snorkeling and scuba diving in the Molokini Crater. houses down there. Yeah, it's a real big house down there, that area. Everybody with a pool down there is doing pretty good for themselves in Hawaii, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go up this valley right here, guys, into the Lania Poco Valley. Alright, so back into the West Valley Mountains. This will take us back all the way through to the north side of the island where we started from. Alright, uh, has anyone heard of the Eau Valley? It's called IAO. Did you guys go and check it out? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, okay, just cool. the report. Okay, cool. So we're going to like watch out there. <laughs> we're going to go and show you. I'm going to show you where the park is. You'll be able to see it. But this, we're going to come in the Eau Valley on the other side of this. Oh. So we're going to come down from the opposite to the opposite side that you guys saw. What? That's like a cave over there. Alright, so we're going to come into the Ia Valley. And the Ia State Park is located at the bottom of the valley down here. See where the view comes down. Yeah. As we get closer, you'll see the, the parking lot come into view. But you can drive up the valley, park, and you can do a lot of hiking in here. It's a really cool area. Just make sure you lose your first thing. So that, just make sure you lose your first thing so the car will be locked. The car will be locked the gates out here. If you have yeah, yeah, oh. the gates will be locked, yeah. Is your car got locked in there? Yep. Oh, wow. Oh. Put it to that this morning. Oh, wow. 
You can call a taxi to come get you? Uh, limo. Oh, you see a, a huge white limo. Oh, uh, huge white limo came and got there? That's awesome. <laughs> so, you can see the park right there. Yeah. So you can walk down this river, right? Yeah, right you can, see, yeah, you can walk up all, a whole bunch of these areas right here. Oh. If you can go, uh, I mean, there's only so many trails that you have to kind of hop the fence and you can keep hiking up here in a lot of these areas. Um, like one of the trails, uh, uh, Ivan and Alexi, if you look down here to the left of us, you can see there's a trail that goes Yep. Yeah, see down here? Yeah, yeah. Right, so you kind of, I've hiked all the way up this ridge line right here and all the way up into this area I've hiked before. See that? You can see a little bit of it right there? Oh. Yeah, see that? I'll turn around and do it on the other side for you, Jake. That is the crowd of... Yeah, see it at all? Yeah, see it right on that ridge line right there. That's a pretty cool trail. Goes all the way down here, keeps going through. Right there, goes down right down the switch line right here, keeps on heading back up underneath the canopy to this other, to this other area. Oh. Alright, we're gonna go through the Waikapu Valley now, guys, which is right here in front of us. That'll send us back out to the, to the North Shore. This is so ah. oh. wow. <laughs> hey. And we're gonna kind of come around the corner and start making our way back out to Kahului. Now, guys, I'm gonna go and uh, it's gonna be quiet for me for the next couple minutes. I gotta make a couple of calls to the radio to the, to the tower. Let them know we're on our way back in. Okay, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so as we come out of the Waikapu Valley, alright, there's Kihei guys, right down there Jake, yep. Kihei and Wailea, south side of the island, sitting at the base of the Haleakala Crater, there is the big other big volcano up in the clouds. Got the city of Kahului that's down here to the left of us, largest city in Maui, about 30,000 people live in this city. Um, Got a bunch of other towns and cities, not cities, but towns that are up on side of Haleakala. You got Kula, uh, Pukalani, Makawao, Haiku, Huelo, Haili'i, Miley, Ulu Palakua. Crazy when you realize how much of the land isn't occupied by humans. Yeah. Probably like so, 10%. Right out here, this is where all the old sugarcane fields used to be. There's uh, over 41,000 acres of empty sugarcane fields. They stopped growing it in December of 2016. Maui was the last island that grew sugarcane. Wasn't profitable, profitable for the company to grow anymore, so they did away with it. They just sold the 41,000 acres of land to some uh, to some uh, farming uh, farming company that's based. Uh, they're based out of uh, Hawaii and out of uh, Northern California. Uh, it's all going to stay agricultural. They just haven't decided what it's all going to become yet. But it's uh, yeah. For that big factory that you see is abandoned now? Yep, that's right there, the Puni Sugar Mill. Oh yeah, there. That was the last oh. sugar mill in all of the Hawaiian Islands. It's been open for almost 200 years. It closed in December of 2016. Wow. Um. 
I don't know what they're going to do with the sugar mills. I heard that they're going to tear it down. Other people said they're going to leave it up. I don't know. We haven't. It's been. It's still pretty new. It's only been two years since it's gone away. Uh, the town of Paia out there. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. I love yeah. it there. Yeah. Town of Paia is one of my favorite favorite places to go hang out. It's got a cool, really cool hippie vibe to it. A lot of bars, restaurants, cafes, cool stuff. A lot of strip shops. That's where Owen Wilson has his house. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. If you're going to Hana, you're driving around the island. Hana's on the back side of the Haleakala Crater. That's where Hana is, over there. I'm going there tonight for dinner. Alright. Oh, yeah. I'm the fish out there. Alright guys, you guys enjoy the flight? Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, right? Awesome. What a great, that was an awesome flight. Yeah, it's it was. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Well, on behalf of Mavis Helicopters and myself, I want to say thank you so much for flying with me. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You see where we're going right here, the airport in front of us. The rest of the flight's going to be quiet for me, okay? I'll be talking with the towers. Once we get on the ground, I want everybody to leave all their stuff on, seatbelts and everything on until I turn the engine off, okay? I will talk to you guys again once we're safely back on the ground, okay? Thank you guys so much. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright guys, you guys can take everything off. 